Fred again. And there's no way that you could know because I haven't told you, but like we got separated. You know, like the whole big deal I made out of going to part life and like seeing Fred and all that kind of stuff. Like, well, it nearly didn't happen. We were at the wrong stage and like we got separated. Like, there was a few of us and we got separated into like two little groups because one went to the toilet. You know how it is at festivals and stuff. Like, that happened. And we nearly missed Fred. Well, some of us did miss Fred. I didn't, thank God, but. Some of us did. I'm not going to talk about it right now, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you about it properly another time. That's an entire video title worthy subject, that is. But I'm not going to talk about it right now because I'm a bit busy feeling sorry for myself and I'm hoping that you guys will understand. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I, I'll try, I'll try. About time I folded this up as well. You alright Dave? How you doing, pal? He's seen better days, ain't you, mate? Bless him. He is better than he was, actually. He wasn't very well for quite a while. He's looking a little bit, a little bit fresher now, ain't you, mate? So, yeah. Um, it's weird to kind of explain this and think that, one, I'm about to put this on the internet, and two, people might actually watch it, which is, one, scary, but two, okay because I feel like people may resonate with it somewhat may associate with what it is that I'm about to say and thirdly it helps me believe it or not I have become very accustomed to talking to a camera I'm better at talking to a camera than I am a person there's not really anyone in my life that I tend to go to when I feel this way it tends to be a camera and then I tend to just feel better and that might sound daft and a bit backwards to some, but that is just how I work. That is just how my brain works. That is just what I am like. I can't explain it. I don't know why. It is just how I work. Um, but I'm feeling a bit shitty, right? I'm just feeling a bit crap. And I don't know why. Because life is great. Look, I live here. Life is fucking great, you know? Work's great, life, social life is great. Every, everything, everything that I've said I've wanted for so long is good, is good right now, you know? Um, obviously there's things that I change. There's, you could have everything in the world and you'll always still want more, you, you know what I mean? Like, obviously there's things that I would do differently or things that I would... I, whatever, like, irrelevant, irrelevant right now. But I feel a bit shitty. And I want to talk to you guys about it because it's causing me almost just like a, an underlying level of, of anxiety, really. Because, I don't know, it's hard to kind of, I feel a bit, far from you, I feel a bit detached. It's hard to explain. Um, like you sit and look at my life on social media and it looks fucking fantastic, it is fucking fantastic. I'm very lucky, very fortunate to be here, to be in the position that I am in life, right? Yes, I work very hard, but so does every other fucker, you know? I am lucky to be here, plain and simple. And I appreciate that and I never take it, you know, for, for granted. I spend my five minutes every day looking out at this view. I story it sometimes. It's beautiful. It's a great place to be. Um, but I just can't shake this little funk. You know, I can't shake this feeling that I have right now. And I don't even really know what direction I want to go with this. I just want to talk and I just want to rant. To go alongside that, I want to thank you for tuning in and actually listening. Um, 
yeah, I'm just in a bit of a funk. And it's hard because I'm the happy guy, I'm the positive guy, I'm the everything is good, happy, positive, motivational at times kind of guy, you know? And I just don't feel that right now and I can't figure out why, right? Don't get me wrong, every day I am motivated as fuck, right? Living here has been the biggest motivation in my fucking life. I wake up and look out that window and go, let's get to fucking work. One, because this is sick and the work that I am doing is allowing me to do it. But secondly, this place ain't free and I gotta pay for it, so get to fucking work, you know? <laughs> it's that kind of vibe. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, I'm all over the place. Talking openly and honestly like this is, I feel for me at this point in my life, something that I need to do much more of. It's not something that I have done a lot of lately, but with all of this change, I feel like I need to just do it again. A couple of years ago when I lived at home, I would go on a rant like this and I would sit down the park and you remember those talks if you've been subscribed for a while? I would sit down the park and just rant, like you could hear the water trickling in the background, all that kind of stuff. This is just me doing that now, I, I guess. And I think I'm just realizing now, see this is what I mean by it, it helps me. I have realized in this moment here, talking about this and how I'm a little bit stressed, feeling a little bit down, I have realized that I need to do this more, right? And not more than two videos a week, not like more than my Wednesday and Sunday, I mean maybe, every now and then if, it, if a video crops up as an extra thing or, you know, anyway, whatever. I just mean I need to do this. I need to share how I'm feeling a lot more. Because as of late, the content has just been um, gym content, obviously we went to part life, but I didn't vlog that or anything like that. I just need to talk about how I'm feeling because it really, really, really helps me. The bottom line of that is, is that it really helps me. And in situations like today where I do feel a bit crappy and I feel a bit stressed and I feel a bit down, I can talk to the camera for a few minutes and it does make me feel better. I don't know if there's much of a difference in the look on my face from when I first started this clip, but I feel better now than when I did a few minutes ago starting this clip, you know? Whether that is evident or not in the video, I, I don't know, but, but I'm telling you now, I, I feel a bit better, you know? So, thanks for listening. <laughs> and on a slightly more positive note, I think I might uh, go and have my, my clear way. We've got a bit more work to do on that note for the rest of the day. I haven't actually shown you guys this apartment properly yet. So, here's a cheeky little look down there it's quite far and a nice little look out the window we've got a beautiful golden hour this is exactly what i'm talking about though look at this absolutely beautiful i'm so lucky to be here and i feel so stupid and i feel so i don't know what the word is i feel stupid for for feeling down and I need to tell myself and you guys that it is okay, regardless of what you're going through in life, whether it's good or bad. It's okay to feel a little bit shit and talk about feeling a bit shit because as guys in particular, we do struggle with that. We get told that we have to be strong, macho, the providers, But we have emotions too. And mine, mine were just a little bit lower than, than normal today. So I think what I'll do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'll leave this video here. I feel like this has been 
a completely different video to what you're used to, especially from me. But necessary is probably the word that I would use to describe this video. Necessary. I needed a rant and I needed this, little did I know at the time of filming it, I just whipped out my camera and decided I was gonna talk. Little did I know that it would help me. I should have known that it would help me. I've done this a thousand times. Literally nearly a thousand videos on my YouTube channel now. Not even shorts, like a thousand 10 minute long YouTube videos. Now however freaking long I've been talking to you now, I'm gonna call it here, but this was, this was good, this was nice. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for always supporting me regardless of everything that is going on in my weird and wonderful life. Like I say, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool time to be here, you know? Which is why I felt a little bit silly for feeling down, but um, try and find whatever it is in your life that you need to make yourself feel that little bit better. For me, it was talking to you guys. Maybe it's a, a friend, a family member, um, a boss, a, a, anyone, anyone. Just find that someone or something that you can kind of go to. Um, sometimes it will happen by mistake, kind of like this, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we'll call it a day there. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my clear way. Slightly more somber video today. Is that the right word? Somber? I'll tell you what would have been somber. That would have been missing Fred again. That would have been horrific. Is that the right word? Is somber the right word? I don't know. Anyway, thank you all so much for your relentless support. I cannot explain to you all enough how much it means to me, the support that you have all provided me over the past few years, you know? And just know that in times when you feel alone, I'm here for you because whether you realize it or not, you guys were here for me right here, right now. And I'd like to be able to do the same to you. So if you're going through any kind of weird change that you are struggling to deal with or you're just not used to or you just want to chat about anything to do with life, I'm here always. Okay? I promise. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for hearing me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Together we will grow. Oh, yes. Oh, my knee just cracked. Oh, that hurt a bit. Dave, you're on the slant, mate. What's going on? Oh. <laughs>